Okay, I've got her set up in her little crate. And you say, I thought this was home grooming. It is. You always should have a little crate for your pet to be in for safety reasons when you go away or maybe you have company over or for this particular reason too. Just kind of let them sit and dry. She's on her towel. She's very comfortable. And I just have a couple towels over the top. And what I'm going to use for right now, I'm not going to let her sit underneath this very long. Just enough to start the drying process by bathe her sister. And just got a big floor fan. We use this a lot in our business. I'm going to go ahead and put it on high. You can see where it's just blowing on her. She's safe. She's never going to get overheated by this fan ever. Okay, so it is safe. All right, we'll go get her sister. Okay, here's Hazel. I just dried her up a bit, and now I'm going to spray the all in one conditioner for detangling, de shedding, and helps dry them quicker. you that you don't have to have any fancy equipment like I do. You can set up a area where you dry your dog. You can do it a table and put towels on it, even on bath mat, help them from slipping. If you got a dryer or washer, you can put it on top of that. Any any surface, but you want to get them off the ground and you want to get them in your territory, not theirs ground is their territory and they seem to be they don't behave as well okay they they're not real thrilled about this they will tolerate it you just have to be patient and loving and encouraging to them all right nice good shake it's good here is the conditioner okay, Miss Hazel May quite liberal with this. They both are shedding like crazy. It's going on winter, so they should slow down, but I still want to keep them, you know, so they're not so heavily coated. I don't cut my pomeranes down. I just scissor them up, scissor their booty, their feet, and little stragglies, and that's it. I like the natural look of these guys. I'm sure if you've seen Pomeranians out, you've seen some. They're cut down quite short. A teddy bear look, y'all. Yeah, they do a lion look. That is okay as long as the groomer isn't taking a metal blade right to the skin. Because then that causes uh, skin damage, hair follicle damage. And these guys are prone to post clipping alopecia. And what that is, is a close cutting, trimming of these guys causes the hair not to come in correctly, a different color, maybe not at all, and, that's, and that is bald spots. Malapish are bald spots. You might have seen where some pomeranes have done through here, or just patches, maybe long hair here. Not every time, but a majority of the time that is caused from clipping too short. Of course, there are health reasons too, but I'm just talking about grooming here, no help. My daughter is expert on that. She's a veterinarian. So if I ever needed her assistance or help, I always give her a call. Alright, we got her nice and massaged in. I'm going to go ahead and set up her little crate and let her dry by the fan for a minute. And then I'll get her sister out and start blowing her out with a power dryer. I got Rosie on my table. She, she dried up pretty good just with that fan. But I like her still good and damp so I can blow this out. I bought this new little hand dryer off Groomer's Choice. I never used it, but it was very inexpensive. I can't remember offhand how much it was, but I'll put it down in the comment section or I'll put it in the ticker tape. So this will be loud.
the reason why I'm showing you this is because if you want to do this at home, you don't have to invest a whole lot of money. So this is nice. Also, you can just use your hair dryer, which I have used many times. Now there is, this does get really hot, so make sure you keep it on warm or cool. one has different settings. I like to put this on low for their head and face because they don't like that very forceful air in their face. So so she's not in my neck, but I'm not ready to do that yet. Next, I'll show you what I use because I am a professional groomer. I do have some of my professional dryers still. So don't expect you to go out and buy this. It is a easy dryer. And it's from a pet supplies company. And it is a high velocity dryer. It is does not require heat, it just circulates the room air. And this one's loud and powerful. This one is only the one motor. They do have two motors, which are quite a bit more powerful. We use those for the larger dogs that really need the force. Um, my daughter has it down at the pet salon. I don't really need it here. So she wasn't using this one. Well, actually, I had two of the big ones and one and this smaller one. She said, go ahead and take this small one. So she has the two big ones, which is all she needs, and those actually go down to low, too, for her smaller dogs. Okay, this is going to be loud, but I'm just going to show you briefly how to do, how I do this. And this one is variegated, I'm variegated, yeah, variable, speed, low, all the way to high. Off my dryer and I want to <laughs> let that fall okay now with this dryer it helps blow up that undercoat and also helps dry and straighten here's what I like laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts with them, we take a ride. I want you to get free. I'm trying to bring you closer. How it separates the fur. And you don't want it to push it around like this, okay? That tangles it. You want to keep it steady. Forever, I always try to let my spirit fly, fly away. That's the only way to get that high, high away. Okay, this will take a while. I'm gonna go ahead and dry her up. Oh, good 80% to 90% with this, and then I'll go to the smaller dryers and I'll pop back on and show you that. I like to be comfortable when I dry my dogs. So I went up to Walmart and bought me a folding stool. They're very inexpensive. And also I like some tunes. So I got my AirPods on or you turn on a radio, whatever your fancy, listen to your favorite music. I'm going to listen to AirPods because I can hear it better with the dryers going. So that's what I do. See? really comfy. So I want you to be comfortable and enjoy this process. Your pet will too because they know you're enjoying it. If you look at the trouble
almost too high Laying on the grass, I close my eyes Playing my guitar to my fingers and numb You want to grab yourself a good slicker brush and a wire comb. They're almost dry. They're probably about oh, 85, 90% really. But they're front, so it has to be worked on. But I'm going to go ahead and comb through them and brush them just to see where I need to concentrate on detangling and de shedding. You see, they're pretty good together. I I grew them together all the time. Of course, you at home, I know. We'll try this at home, okay? I, I'm a professional groomer, like I said in the very beginning. 50 plus years, guys. So, <laughs> I got a handle on this, okay? But, you can do this at home. Just take your time and do one pet at a time. I'm just trying to kill two birds with one stone. I shouldn't say that, should I? I love this flicker brush. It really helps. Let's see if I can show you here. I have to zoom this up. She's not. Hazel's my most spoiled and fussy as far as this goes. So you, you see her do her little antics. That's just Hazel. I take the white part of the tooth comb and kind of just work it through. If I can't get this through, I know that I keep on brushing. Which she doesn't want. It's a little wet there still, so it's harder for it to come out. And that's why it's tugging on her. The more dry it is, the less it tugs on her. I 
going to go to her sister now. She's a little more dry. Yes, I have a table I can turn. I love this thing. Oh, I surprised her. It's okay, I'm not hurting you. You know, they're not thrilled about this, but they tolerate it. You know, you gotta, it has to be done because the alternative is a very ungroomed pet that gets matted and then their skin can't breathe and it's not healthy. So, but they learn. Just have patience. See this hair? I'm going to get a lot more. I have my grooming room set up pretty good here in my home. This is an X room off the back of the house. So I have a trash can over there. Um, an antique cupboard I painted. And I have another grooming table over here. So it's self-sufficient for me. Okay, when it comes to tangles, and you don't want them to feel the tug, you know, that you're tugging and, you know, it hurts. I take and I hang on to the fur here. Get off my butt here so you can see. <laughs> see, where was I? Okay, right here. That's a little tender right there, so I take the slicker brush. I hold it at the base, the roots, and I go ahead and brush and comb through. If you can't get this comb through, you're not finished. Okay, I got a little nut tangle. She feels that, but it's not hurting her, okay? Because I'm hanging on to it. And that's a little tight one. So I gotta really just take my time and get that little pin mat out, I call them. Really hard <laughs> to groom and film. Well, I'm getting it. Usually it don't take me this long. I've been on them for maybe, oh, at least a good 30 minutes. But, um, you know, I'm filming. I know. I didn't pull you, no. Not pulling. I'll let you know. Um, you know, and just stop what you're doing and talk to them and encourage them. And just hang on to that fur. And that's a pretty tight one here. So, and it's nice and dry, so it comes right out. Not only does it help for it to dry, it helps with the products I use. That's why I love that all-in-one detangler, the finish spray I used. Well, it's not a finish spray, it's a, it's a detangler de-shedding spray. She's getting there now. She's got some really tight mask behind her ears. Okay, I go for the dog's health and comfort. Beauty comes second. This is important, but this is a little too tight, so I'm gonna take and use the clippers and just take it out with a clipper, not a scissors, because it's dangerous, you can cut their skin. I'll show you how you do that. Use my wall. Bravadas and they're cordless. I love these things. And I'm going to go put that on number 15. You probably don't know what I'm talking about if you just saw home, <laughs> you know. But groomers out there know what I mean. And these can be bought also through those websites. It's nice to have for just home grooming because they're lightweight and they're, they're practical. So I'm just going to just kind of feel my way here. going to be a little bald spot, but and like I said, I don't want to hurt her. That was a pretty good one. That's due to my neglect, okay? Nothing that she did. Now it's Loose enough where now I can kind of go ahead and brush that out. So 
I thought. Put this on a little tighter, Billy. We're not to the skin, see? I'm not doing to the skin. So this is not gonna cause any skin damage or hair damage. Continue to work on a few little more. I just wanted to show you that. Um, I want to say procedure. It's not a procedure. <laughs> I just want to show you that little trick. I got her off the noose because she wants to relax and it's okay. She can lay on her side. It helps me out. Most dogs don't do this, but like I said earlier, I've been doing these girls since they've been six weeks old. They are now, let's see, they will be seven. November 14th. Oh my. My girls are getting old. And yes, they are litter sisters. Story on that is we went down to get one, came home with two. Couldn't choose. I wanted them. I wanted her. My husband wanted her. So we got them both. <laughs> yeah, I don't regret it. What did I see? Something look beautiful. See where that comb is. She's on it. <laughs> All right. Why tooth? It's going through nice. Okay. Now you can go ahead and take the smaller. <laughs> and you just kind of fluff up. These guys are supposed to be poofy and fluffy. <laughs> I know, real technical terms, right? This is just home pet grooming, okay? It's not show grooming. It's not really professional grooming. However, I am a professional groomer. I, but I want my babies to enjoy this. Coming out with the big guns now. This is my La Pooch. D matter. This stuff is a miracle brush. This is a she's quite tight right here, so I'm hanging on to it and just get those tangles out. I want to push hard on your skin with this because it's only a D matter. This particular brush. Because it's nice and stiff. So that's why I got my hands here. Or is this a professional brush? So you home groomers for your own pets probably won't invest in something like this. She's just way overdue. It's my own fault. So I'm having to do a, a professional grooming. But I want to show you how to home groom. Kind of, I know, backwards. <laughs> But since I'm doing them, I'm going to do a really good job. See? Tug, tug. Going to grab that. Work it. It's really quite easy. It's just very time consuming. That is why a lot of home um, pet owners don't want to home groom because it's a lot of work. They are at the stage of this condition to be professionally groomed. I will try to remember in this series to do a maintenance grooming where I don't have to fuss this much. I've got her pretty much all combed out. Back me up a little bit here so you can see. Quite a transformation. I can get the comb through her. And you are not finished until you can get the fine tooth comb through her. Our him. If you stop midway, you can take a break because it is time consuming. But if you don't go back to it shortly, 
you're going to get tired, they're not going to want you to do it. So your best just go, just get her done and do it correctly so there will be a well-groomed and beautiful pet. I don't know how many times I've heard clients say, I brushed my dog. I don't know why they're mad at They shouldn't be mad at I believe you did, of course. But if you don't understand the steps, you're not getting it done correctly. It's quite, you know, like I said, you, you slick her brush, wide tooth, and then you fine tooth. And then if you get those tangles that cannot come out, you go ahead and take a small clipper and just spot shave them out, you know? And see what else I have to say about that. Um, this takes perseverance. And you have to make your pet behave. And you can do that in a loving way. Just be patient and talk them, to them don't baby them, you know, because this is business. This is not playtime. We get to play when we're finished. But then you end up enjoying it for the most part. And then she, whoop, see, I got a little tangle. She's telling me it wasn't bad enough for her to cry, but she's, she, you know, she's a drama queen. But I, I was hanging on to it. But don't, don't get all freaked out when they do that. It's okay. They just, have to voice their opinion. And that particular one's not coming out, so I'm going to go ahead and just take my clipper and it's right up here and just take that off. Throw it away. It's gone now. Alright, I do have some grooming grooming to do on these guys. I have to go ahead and scissor up her fanny here. A little bit of her feathers, her feet, pads. Um, probably going just barely round up her ears, tippy tips. Now, don't you do this. This is professionals do this because you, I don't want you to cut your tips your ears off. You can just let them grow, okay? It's okay. A lot of times I do anyway. But I'm just going to do it because of the aesthetics. You are finished with this long part. The good part is coming, yeah. Hazel says, please subscribe, smash that notification bell, and please like this video, comment, and share. This was part two, which was about drying your dog. Part three is next, and it's just about finishing up these puppies and a little bit of trimming of their feet and nails. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.